I'm making money selling 3D models for 3D printing and here's my story. It all starts from the Reddit post where I published this photo of 3D printed base. I got a lot of positive feedback with it. I got a lot of likes, a lot of comments. And few Redditors suggest me to sell this vase on Call3D for 99 cents. And that was kind of weird for me, because who will pay money for 3D models? But anyway, I decided to give it a try and published my first STL files on Call3D. I was really skeptical about this way of earning money, because you know there's a Thingiverse where you can get all the models for free. But anyway, a few days later, I got my first sale, and that was kinda awesome. A lot of questions appeared instantly. Am I a miller now? Can I leave my 9 to 5 job? How much basis can I sell more? And etc. and etc. And in my head, uh, I came up with the next plane. Do more basis, post them on Reddit, leave a link to paid models on Calls 3D, got the money, enjoy the life. The first one was kinda easy because I got a lot of inspiration from WoW project and my vases looks a lot like theirs and Redditors was fine with it until models were free but if I made my models pay they become angry and called me design stealer. Even though a lot of Redditors were angry at me I still keep publishing them on Calls3D and somehow I was managed to make my first 50, 50 dollars from sales. Also I started playing with the prices, I am increasing them from 2 to 4 dollars per model, but sadly at one moment administration of Calls3D decided to de deactivate my account because it's again was my way this was look too were look too similar like wow project ones that was sad but understandable and i started looking for other ways where i can sell my vases and i become with patreon i created a page make a tears and few days later i got my first patrons i think the traffic for the patreon was from Reddit post where I leave a link to the my Patreon page. Patreon is awesome platform, but you can gain a lot of traffic. And the problem is when you publish a lot of stuff that looks similar on Reddit, day by day you become a spammer and people become angry and they don't like your stuff anymore. In case with Skulls 3D, on the other hand, you gain a lot of attention if your models will be catched by cult call selection on their main page. So I wrote an email to Calls 3D and asked them about to reactivate my, my account and we came up with an agreement that I need to develop my own style and change my future models. That was a great uh, news for me and my business plan was updated with this uh, change with Calls 3D. Now it looks like you can purchase a model on Calls 3D for 2 to 6 dollars each model or you can go to my Patreon and get all of the models for one payment a month, like for $6.90. And that's how it still works these days. So, you are still wondering how much money I made with all these sales? Ok, let's start with Calls 3D. It's hard to track monthly income on Calls 3D due to the fact that they don't have the proper stats. So, I will share with you a total income from them for 80 months. I got 728.83 euros. Oh, that should be similar to 755 dollars and 98 cents. That's quite near to 42 dollars per month. And as for Patreon, I can give you a more detailed step. You can see the stats on the screen. And total income from Patreon for 18 months is 1380 dollars and 31 cents that kinda equal to 76 and a half dollar per month. And total income from selling digital files from these two platforms is 
$2,136.29. Also, I would like to tell these numbers not include any custom designs and local sales of physical products. So if you want to know more about it, ask me in the comment section. Honestly, money is not the only thing that I got during this journey. I believe that I got something more important. For example, my skill set. My design process become more and more efficient with every new model. My model 3 was really messy and prints and not looks very good. But with the time, small tweaks here and there helped and makes my designs more reliable and printable. Renders. Oh, this one is interesting. I was thinking about how to promote and how to showcase my models without printing them. And rendering 3D printed models was a great solution for that. First, of course, it was a photos, but then it was renders like this and then renders like this and like this. And now I'm trying animation and this all stuff is super excited. More than that, I opened a physical local store and start selling some vases. And in six months from zero sales, I was success enough to fulfill a B2B orders. And again, if you would like to know more about it, ask me in the comments. And the most important thing during this journey I met a lot of cool people, from designers to makers and also to business owners. And I got involved deep into this community of new people who trying to boost 3D printing on a whole new level. That was enjoyable year with falls and ups and I will keep doing this stuff and maybe I will come back to you next year with the new numbers. Thank you for the watching, go design something, print it, try to sell it, develop new skills, subscribe to this head, watch these videos, so bye bye.